Hello everybody! In this video, you will see how to restore access to any mailbox at an email service or obtain at least some information from such mailbox if the access was lost forever. I'd like to emphasize at once that we are not trying to encourage anyone to commit any illegal actions. We are not talking about a hacking attack, but about the things that an ordinary user can do from their home or office computer if they lost access to their email and they need to restore it. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Here we go. In this video, we'll have a look at the case when you have access to the computer belonging to the user whose email you are trying to access. You can get remote access to a user's email only through phishing or social engineering, that is, only by using fraudulent tricks to get the password to a user's email. That is why you should avoid using online services or applications that require entering the login and password to your current email, or transferring this data to someone else. Instead of the services you are expecting, your account may be hacked or spammed with lots of unwanted mail. Of course, all email services have reliable protection systems. They often feature two-factor authentication or are connected to a user's mobile phone number. That is why it is next to impossible to get into someone's email account by just guessing the lucky combination of symbols. But how can you do it? Let's suppose there is a computer used by the person whose email box we want to restore access to. You start the computer. If you already have access to the person's account, or you know the password, or there is no password at all, it's wonderful, just sign in. If you don't have access to this account, don't worry, you can sign in without the password as well. There is a special detailed video on how to sign in to Windows without knowing the account password or reset the password, and you will find the link in the description as usual. After you've signed in into the computer, run Hetman Internet Spy. Find the download link for the program in the description. Select System Analysis. And after it's complete, choose the user. Here is one very important thing. To get access to the email box of a user, it's better to sign in to Windows from this user's account. It's really important, because the system will not give one user's account the access to personal data and passwords of the other account. Choose the browser for analysis. You need to analyze the particular browser that this user prefers. To find out which one is the favorite browser, go to Windows Settings – Apps – Default Apps. In the web browser line, you will see the default browser name. Usually, this is the one the user opens every time. Run the browser analysis. However, you can choose to analyze all browsers one by one until you find the application containing the necessary information. Let's see what data we can view after the browser analysis. Now we can see the complete browsing history for the selected user. It is represented chronologically in the History menu. There is so much data. If you are looking for a way to restore access to an email address, the first thing to check is if the program succeeded in extracting the email password. To do it, go to the Passwords menu. This is where you can see all logins and passwords saved by the browser, including those to email services. If you find the password to the mailbox you have been looking for and you know this email address, that's wonderful, just go there and enter the password. Find out what mail service is used. Go to its main page, enter the login you already know and the password you have extracted with the help of this application. For example, email addresses by Google and in gmail.com, by Yandex in yandex.ru, Yahoo in yahoo.com, AOL in aol.com, Outlook in outlook.com or hotmail.com, and so on. In this case, the job is done and access is restored.
Still, if the password to the mailbox you know is not shown for some reason, but Internet Spy has shown logins and passwords to other email addresses this user also has, one of them can be the recovery email for the mailbox. What does it mean? When you create an email address, the mail service usually asks you to give one more email which is then verified and used to send you a security code, so you can restore access to your email or reset a password you have forgotten. This is what they call a recovery email address. How can you use it? Go to the main page of the email service. Enter the login if you haven't done it yet. Next to the password field, click on the link saying Forgot password or Remember password, etc. Here, try to find any hints at the recovery email for this mailbox. Such a recovery email address can also be hidden. Nevertheless, this way we can learn the mail service of the recovery email and sometimes even the login's initial symbols. To reset the password to an email account, send a message with the confirmation code to the recovery email. Now we can find a password to the recovery email among the email addresses and passwords found by Hetman Internet Spy. Here is the email address we need. Having gained access to the recovery email, we can use it to reset the password for the primary email address and open it. Here is one thing to remember. Some email services may have other methods to reset a mailbox password which don't involve a recovery email address. One of such methods can be using a recovery phone number, where a special password to restore access or reset a password will be sent. Now we've gained access to the mailbox. Here is one more important observation. If the utility didn't find the password to the mailbox you need, but you can see that other mailboxes, website or social media accounts, which Hetman Internet Spy also shows, share one and the same password, there are high chances that this password can be used for the primary mailbox as well. Try signing in with such password. People often use the same password for various accounts. Next. It's quite possible that this menu will not show the passwords to the mailboxes you need. Remember, if you have previously reset the password for signing in the Windows account, the utility will not show you the passwords to this user's accounts. It happens that way because of the Microsoft security system. In this case, set a password to this Windows account of this user and restart the computer. To do it, go to Control Panel, User Accounts, Manage another account, select the account, create a password, or go to Settings, Accounts, Sign in Options, Password, Add. After that, use Hetman Internet Spy to analyze the system again. As a result, you will see passwords to the user accounts that have been detected. If the login and password have not been saved in the browser and you can't get a password to the mailbox, what data can you get your hands on without having a password? Go to the menu History – Mail. It shows all email messages sent or received with this browser. The data is represented chronologically. Hetman Internet Spy shows headings of all possible emails, the source email address, and the destination email address. If all you need is to find the fact of sending or receiving a certain message, even this information is enough. The utility will also come in handy for restoring the information on a mailbox to which you have lost access anytime. I've just shown you the ways to get access to an email with the example of Yahoo service. However, they should work well with other email services too. If you don't want to have your email hacked, be security conscious. Use complicated passwords, multi-factor authentication, different passwords for various accounts, and so on. That is all for now. If you found this video useful, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Ask questions in your comments. Hit the bell button to enable notifications about our new videos. Thank you for watching and good luck!